Good morning students. Today we will start with the 12th standard commerce. So in our 12th standard syllabus, we have a total 10 units and we have 28 chapters. So in unit 1, the first one is a management process. So in this management process, the chapter 1 name of the lesson is principles of management. The name of the lesson is principles of management. So before moving on to the principles of management, first we must know the meaning of the word management. So this word management is used in our day to day life. That means we can say that we are managing the library, we are managing the classroom, we are managing the home. So in the same way, the word management is used in our business also. So to execute the desired result, to get the desired result, the management have to adopt a proper management system. So we call it as an art. It is the art of getting the work done by the managers. So next we will move on to the definition, management definition. So here we have two definitions. One is general definition and the second one is precise definition. So in the precise definition, they have given the name of the two authors. One is Henry Foyle and the other one is Peter F. Drucker. So in your uh, question paper for public exam, they may ask define management or they may mention that is define the general definition of management or they may ask define management according to Henry Foyle and Peter F. Dutler. So in that case, you have to learn all the three definitions of management. So now we will move on to the first definition that is the general definition. So in the general definition, you remember only three words that is input, function, then output. So you remember input, managerial function, output. So now I will define this definition that is the word management means allocation of inputs by using managerial functions to get the desired output. So now you have to know the meaning of this word input. So here input means it may be the men that is the staffs or the employees use it for the business. It is the resource that is the raw materials used for the business. It may be the materials used for the business and it may be the money used for the business. So input means men, material, money and the resource. So how to use this, how to allocate this input means we have to use the management functions. So what are the management functions that is planning, planning, directing, controlling, planning, directing and also controlling. So planning means before starting any business we have to plan the things that is deciding in advance. So next one is directing. So the word directing means to guide the employees how to do their work. And next one is controlling means the manager has to control all these inputs in a proper way. So when we do this properly, then we will get the desired output. So that's why the definition of management means allocation of inputs by managerial functions to get the desired output.